Okay, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at how you can create spaces for your students to post their work or examples of their work to create digital portfolios in spaces.edu.com. So in the previous video, we went through the process of students being added into the course or adding students into your class. Now we're gonna look at the spaces piece. So there are three kinds of spaces that you can have. You can have an individual space, you can have a group space, and what you saw previously there was the class space, which is our default space. So let's go to our spaces and let's now create an individual space. So let's select individual, we'll hit next, and I'm gonna create an individual space for each one of these students. We'll call it your portfolio. This is where you will share examples of your work. Only Mr. Byrne and you will see these examples. And I can again add more things in here to the description of the space with a file or an audio recording or turn on my webcam and record a short video. And of course, pull things from Google Drive as well. But let's save this. And so now we'll see that this space is hidden. So right now our students don't actually have access to it. I've created it, but they don't have access to it yet. So in the upper right hand corner, let's click on students and we're gonna make this active so that students can actually post into their individual spaces so that I can see their work. And you'll see here, there's also a family option. You can invite families to see their students work as well. But in this case, I'm gonna leave that one turned off. I'll save how to invite families for another video in the future. Now let's go back here and we're going to create one more space. We're going to create a space called a group. Now in groups, you can have groups automatically created or manually created. And I'm going to choose manually and I'm going to add students into group one. I'm gonna have sample student and Mason in that group. And I'll add another group. And in this case, all we have left is Max. He's gonna be in a group by himself for now. Let's call this one group space. This is where you and one of your classmates will share work with each other to get feedback. And let's save that space. So there's our group space and we have group one and group two. Now the groups are great because as I implied there, your students can give each other feedback on their work or this could also be a place where groups who are working on group projects could submit their final drafts or early drafts of their work. And again, I need to go and make that visible and active for my students. So now let's take a look at how your students will actually use the spaces that they have access to. You can see here, my class now has a class space, a group space, and an individual space. So here we are in my student Max's account, and there's Max. And if he clicks on his spaces, he's going to see he has his individual portfolio, his group space, and his class space. Let's say that Max wants to add something to his individual space. So he's gonna click on that. He has nothing here. So he's gonna create something. Well, maybe he wants to 
write a little message. Say, this is my first photograph. And I'll say, this is something I'm considering using as an entry in the local photography contest. Can you give me some feedback, please? So Max is going to attach a file. He's going to attach one from his computer. And here's Max, and he's going to include this picture here. And he's going to upload that picture. You can see Max can still add two more items to this posting if he wants. He could turn on the audio recorder and record himself. He could turn on the camera and record himself in a video format if he likes as well. Or just go ahead and post it. And here he's going to post it just to his individual portfolio, not to the group space and not to the class space. And there it is. Now, as the teacher, when I go into port your portfolio here, I'll be able to see Max's work. I can see his photograph, his note to me, and I can leave feedback for him and say, yeah, this is a great picture. And post it. But I could have just as easily hit this record button This is a fantastic picture. I love the sense of scale that you've captured in this photograph. And so now the audio will get uploaded and Max will be able to hear that audio when he looks at his portfolio the next time. So that's how you can create individual and group spaces for your students to use as digital portfolios on spacesedu.com. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.